Hello friends, this video on electric charges and fields part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 15 before going ahead with part 16. Now that we have studied about electric charge and electric force, it's time to introduce electric field. So we saw that first step of this chapter we saw that there is something called there is an entity called charge which exists in this universe because of which some particles attract each other some particles repel each other now whenever a particle attracts each other it has to attract or it has to repel with a force so that force was electric force which we talked about till now now we will talk about why when does a particle experience that electric force for example, there is one particle here and the other particle miles away from that particle. So will that particle also get attracted or repelled by this particle? What is it like? I mean, what is the situation or is there any condition that a particle will experience a force only under this condition? So there has to be a cause for a particle to experience force when it is near another charged particle. So there comes electric field. So now we will study about electric field. So let us see what is electric field. It is the region around a charged body in which another charged body experiences an electrostatic force. So basically this electric field tells us within which region a particle will experience electrostatic force. For example, let us suppose this is one particle, 1. This is his friend, 2. Now, if 2 is within 1 kilometer from 1, then 1 will ask 2 to come to his home. Let us suppose this is 1's residence, 1 lives here. 1 will ask 2 to come to his home only if 2 lives in a region within 1 kilometer. Once 2 goes out of this region, let us suppose 2 went out of station to some other place, then 1 will not call 2. So that means 2 will not get attracted to 1 if it goes out of this region. So that means this region is electric field of 1. That means if any particle comes within this field, 1 will attract it or will repel it accordingly depending upon the charge. Once that particle goes out of that region, that force will not exist, right? So electric field is also a region around the charged body. Every charged body will have a region around it where if any other particle comes, will experience an electrostatic force, whether of attraction or of repulsion. So that region is known as electric field. So let us understand it with this charge Q. Let us suppose we have a positive charge Q. Okay. So now the electric field due to this positive charge, the region somewhat like this, let us suppose. Let us suppose this particle has electric field around itself in this way. So if any other particle or any other particle comes within this region, that particle will experience an electrostatic force. Let us suppose we call this charge that is plus Q from where electric field is generating, we call this as source charge. Whereas the other small particle which we consider will come and will experience that force is termed as test charge. So these are the two new terms introduced here. One is source charge. Source charge is the one. The term source itself means that from where something is originating. So source charge is the one from where the elect which produces electric field. Right. And test charge is a very small charge. It Test charge is not a real charge. It is like it is a kind of imaginary charge which is considered to be a very very small charge which does not have its own electric field because as such every charged particle will have its own electric field around itself. But when we talk of a test charge, it is an imaginary charge 
which is so small that it does not have any electric field of itself. So that test charge, let us suppose we generally, for convention, we generally denote test charge with Q0. So if this test charge comes within the range of the source charge, it will experience an electrostatic force. But once it goes out, let us suppose the source charge is somewhere here and the electric field of the source charge ends here, then this particle Q0 will not experience any electrostatic force. Now, so the maximum region till where the electric field exists is known as range. So any other particle will experience the electrostatic force if it is within the range of the electric field. So anything ab above that limit is out of range. Right? So I hope you understood roughly what is electric field, what is a source charge, what is a test charge. Now let us see what is the relation between electric field and electric force. We talked about electric force in the previous topic. So now if I talk about relationship between electric field and electric force, let us think it in this way. What do we see here? This was the source charge, right? From this source charge, these were the electric field lines. I mean, this is how the electric field of this source charge is represented. Right? Now, I say that there comes some test charge say Q0. So Q0 is a small test charge. So basically this small charge is not interacting with the source charge directly. It is, it is rather interacting with the electric field. Correct? Q0 is not coming directly in contact with plus Q. It is just interacting with the electric field of the source charge. So the test charge interacts with the electric field of the source charge. Right. So how we can write, I mean, from our previous lessons of Coulomb's law, we saw that electric force is equal to some constant K into capital Q into Q naught divided by the distance between them. That is R square. Right. So what we can, how can we define electric field? We can, we can replace this with electric field because this is nothing but the electric field produced multiplied by the test charge with which it is interacting. So we can say that electrostatic force is nothing but the electric field of the source charge multiplied by the test charge. Right? So this is the relationship between electric force and electric field. So electric field is generally denoted by E. So this is your electric field. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.